Well, hey everybody, it's Will, and I'm here at our upcoming Teleco Village sale to give you a video walkthrough of what's in this sale. The sale is going to be June 18th through 20th, and it's by appointment, and we will uh, be asking people to wear masks at the sale. Uh, so it's, it's by appointment for a couple of reasons out here. Uh, one is just to limit the traffic and, and the number of people in the house at any one time uh, for safety reasons, but also because there's just not a whole lot of parking when you're out here in Teleco Village. Uh, and this road is uh, not an exception to that. So there's just not a ton of room for cars. So we'll probably have about 10 appointments every 30 minutes on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And of course, this is one of our hybrid sales, which means there's an online auction going. So as I go through the house, you're going to see this kind of yellow tag. And almost everything in the online auction, you'll have a description and there's a buy now price. So you could buy that coffee table outright for 85 bucks. But if nobody does that, by Friday at 7 then all those items that are unclaimed by now will sell to the highest bidder without reserve on Friday night. Terms of the auction are that you would pick it up on Saturday uh, with an appointment between 9 a.m. and 2. Uh, so that's how it works. There is some coins in the auction. The coins are the only items without buy now prices and shipping is available on the coins. Uh, anything else that you would want shipping on, you need some special dispensation so you'd want to contact me about that. You can do that through the contact form on our website. Now, I'm looking at a couple of the great highlights in this sale. Now, this very unusual situation, this um, family moved here from the southwest of the U.S. where they collected a lot of very interesting things that we don't often see here. So you can see up on the top here, we've got several Kachina dolls, and you're going to see a lot of very interesting southwestern pieces around. Some of them are signed. They're all very interesting. Most of them are in good shape. And uh, it's very interesting. There's also that really cool swan lamp behind it. Now, they are sitting on one of the definite highlights, I don't know, maybe of the year. This is absolutely drop-dead gorgeous tiger oak. Uh, double, it's all, excuse, all three panes of glass are curved here. You can see you got the curved side and the front. If I go around the side, you can see the curve on that as well. So all curved glass and the serpentine shelves. I mean, this thing is primo. Mirror back, antique, full columns here on the front. Uh, it's just it's a gorgeous piece of furniture and you don't, you don't find them, you know, made this well period 100 and 150 years ago and it's definitely not preserved this well anywhere. So primo, primo piece here in the sale. Also a fine, fine piece is inside. This is a Doug Fine Scrimshaw whale tooth, the real thing. Uh, this guy's stuff sells for a lot of money and this is a really gorgeous one with whales and the tall ship and fish and everything. So that one is very cool. Number 266 in the online auction. Another very interesting thing, uh, chalk dogs. There's a lot of chalk figurines, the wedding figurines, all this little uh, batch down here. See, these items will all be in the tag sale. So if you come uh, with an appointment on Thursday and Friday, you can buy this stuff and scoop it right up. And Saturday, all day is half price. So any appointment on Saturday, any remaining tag item will be half price. Now, here's another specialty collection. Head vases, lady vases. They got different uh, terms that people call them. I go with head vase. Really a great collection here. Um, well, I learned a lot about them just looking at this collection. So if it's something that you aspire to learn more about, this is a good one to come study. But when they get fancy hair and fancy fingernails in their hands and when they got pearls and pearl earrings, then, and then this gal, she's even got pierced here so that you could put dried flowers down in there. So um, she's like a flower frog, head vase, fancy lady. So all those kind of bells and whistles on these things. Uh, and, you know, make it more and more valuable. And like this, here's another one with a super fancy hat. So uh, very interesting stuff. Now, right down here in front is a, is a double piece of um, Southwestern cloth. We do have the uh, information on this one, who made it. You can see that in the listing, number 263. And then around on the table, a couple of specialty items here. We've got the, the portrait plates. A lot of beautiful crystal here. A mixture in the tag and the online auction. Uh, this is old ivory china from different makers, and we got the collector's book on how to collect old ivory china. So that that is a pretty good little combo there for a china collector. Uh, Rogers, uh, this is the gold-toned flatware set for a bunch. I think uh, there's 6, 12, 18 settings. There's a ton of it. We've got the whole thing all in the boxes. Another beautiful set here with this uh, the, it's gold rim with blue etching. Very pretty. Uh, maybe it's Linux, I'm not positive, but it sure looks like it to me. My favorite in the sale right here, the Cobalt Blue uh, Dragon and Lotus Carnival Glass. Easily a 100-year-old piece, piece of glass, and that one's in beautiful condition. 
Now this table's got a large uh, quantity of just tag items on it. A lot of Bavarian plates, beautiful plates. You got the Mammy set over there, some gold dust. There's a lot of soaps and um, um, uh, bottles you can see there. And we'll have uh, talk patterns I'll show you here in a little bit too. And here's a couple of uh, very old vapor resiline boxes and they are in good shape and with all the parts inside coming out into the sunroom we got the little uh, desk and chairs in the online auction this cute little cabinet with the fence front that's tag sale the uh, uh, fake fireplace that's actually a heater it just doesn't really burn wood uh, but that's kind of a neat thing and there's if you can see down behind there is another uh, like a baseboard type heater so i know it's hard to think about buying um heaters right now, but uh, you come to wonder, you want it. Fabulous antique chair here, the uh, princess style chair, bunch of Tiffin swans here. And then uh, of course we got uh, some rugs around uh, in the tag sale. This uh, has a match. There's two chairs like this are in the online auction. So is the bird up there. And then there's a lot of cool Western theme art. Here's the big horn sheep. We've got elk over here. Uh, and then there's a lot, I mean, really impressive, a lot amount of cream of wheat advertisement. Um, if that genre uh, uh, entices you, it's very interesting. It's all right about 100 years old now. Most of this stuff's from the early 1900s, 19 teens. We'll show you a wartime one here in a minute. Um, very interesting uh, selection of the cream of wheat. And there's literally dozens. There are many more than we put in the online auction. And they're not all photoed in the tag sale either. So if that's a, that's a thing that you like, you need to get over here and see these. In this cabinet, I just highlighted the, the Doug Fine piece. But there's also some pretty glassware. I got a nice selection of paperweights in there and some beautiful Bavarian bowls. We've got uh, crystal glasses here in the online auction. There's a set of the steins, and I just found more steins in the garage as I was cleaning up. There is a nice uh, mix of linens in the house, bedding, dining, and bath linens. Coming into this office room, got a great roll-top desk. That's in the online auction, and it's covered up with tagged oil lamps. Very cool, and you can see more Western art up there. Got an elk. And uh, there's kachinas and sand paintings in here. Here's the, the a double combo. Both of these prints have covered wagons in them. We've got uh, a good office printers, a pair of them in the online auction. There's a, a, um, a laptop in the tag sale. And I'll show you another laptop that's in the auction in a minute. We've got a couple of frame arrowhead deals. That's in the tag sale. Here's more kachinas and more of the Southwestern art. Another nice printer here. We've got a lot of good media in the house. There's a great assortment of collector antique books. If you like price guides, uh, niche, um, uh, uh, you know, collector guides, there's some good stuff in this closet as far as that goes. Got a nice antique oak gun case back there and the cowboy and Indian. More sand paintings, more sand paintings. The Falstaff trays, that's in the online auction. Got some cool books. I pulled out the military firearm book. I thought that was neat. Pulled it off the shelf. Now this specialty item right here. Still in the box. The photos aren't great, but it's number 173. If you're somebody elder, if you're elderly or have somebody elderly in your family, this is like a large print book version of a computer. So it's got a, a, a large print keyboard. It's from WOW. They sell these for 1200 bucks. You can get them for 1100 on sale, but that is the WOW computer for boomers and beyond. Uh, 22 inch monitor, and that's uh, selling to the highest bidder, guys. And there's beautiful shelves around. You'll see several of those. And you got the phone, the Southwestern decoration items here, as we see those. And then coming back across, uh, just lots of fun little uh, decorative, items, decorative items through here. Okay, going into the next bedroom, we'll take a peek off in the, um, the bathroom. It's a great sale for vanity items. There's a host of these silhouettes. Now, most of them are in the online auction, but you'll see up here in this particular wall, we've got a few that are just tagged individual ones we found after we did the auction lotting. So uh, that's pretty cool. This lot of seven over here is very cool because they're all nautical theme. I just thought that was amazing. That's a lot of collecting to put that kind of thing together. More cream, cream of wheat here. And this is one I was mentioning. Welcome home, boys. That's 1919. Um, welcome in the soldier's home from the war to eat cream of wheat. The only all-American food. Coming into the, uh, the front bedroom here, we've got a few of the Heritage Village. This is all New England series. So no Snow Village, no Dickens Village. It's all... New England Village Series. There's uh, three lots in the online auction, and then there's a couple of dozen items here, straight up tagged uh, from five to twenty bucks a piece, and uh, very reasonable and good collectible stuff. There's also some more bedding down here. We've got some more antique guides, a box full of cards for you. All that's good stuff. A nice little table over here, pretty tea set. Then this back wall in this room, you'll see more silhouettes and more of the. Let me go. I almost forget her last name. It's. Maud Eggermeyer. 
Maud Egermeyer. Several, we've got several prints of hers, uh, hand decorated prints in the auction, and we found more later on in the tag sale. So you've got some pretty cool, pretty cool um, antique pieces there. And then this huge bedding is who is it? Kate Jackson or Jane Seymour? Jane Seymour. That's a king size. It's on a queen bed. You see why it's hanging so low. But all the the pillows and the shams and everything come with that. This is a cool thing. I love the. I learned the name of this for the first time in this sale pyrography it's actually burnt onto the wood and this is really a nice collection of pyrographic boxes uh, there's also the jolly twins a uh, plastic furniture set from uh, uh many many moons ago a little too, and then an antique uh, dollhouse tin dollhouse and it's a jam full of furniture in there too and some pretty cool little um uh, you know decorative and um you know display items as you go around the house so you find lots of throw rugs in the sale as well and now we'll uh Roll into the kitchen. I'm saying this loudly to give Danielle a, a moment to dash out of the way. Okay, she's gone. Uh, if I could have had 100 sets of this Pyrex last week, I could have sold every one in the house we had. Here is more of this wonderful uh, vintage Pyrex with the designs on it. Multicolor bowls, mixing bowls with the drip pour. That's great. And there's a, a corning cornflower blue. You've got Pyrex uh, um, measuring cups. Nice set of pots and pans in here. Some copper items here. We got a the dollar store, the closet with just everything a buck in there. Some food and tins and everything else. Uh, lots of milk glass in here. There's a whole set, a whole auction lot, dozens. It's a I can't remember. It's eighteen. How many is it? A dollar of eleven. A lot of eleven different um, poppy flower wall pockets. And then um, coming over here again, when I mentioned linens, got lots of it here. The baker's rack is for sale. And then this shelf is an auction lot on the top. Then there's another auction lot. This is all creamers. I used to love pouring milk out of my my little cow, like I like this guy when I was a kid, pouring that on my cereal. But this one's got even older ones than me with the different colors. And then there's egg cups and chickens and stamps and all kind of cool things down here. Really fun collections, like I said. Then coming around, we got this nice modern white table with these cool chairs on it. And uh, you know, white formica, practically indestructible stuff. And it's just got the coolest retro things on here. This you know, hours with the song and the, the little mixers and the the cups from the um, who is it? Uh, Warner Brothers, Foghorn, Langhorn, and everybody. Look at the ruby red. You can really see how red it is. And then there's a whole set of Mikasa here. Uh, that's Mikasa. What's the name? Air Arabelle. Then your good uh, serving pieces, TV trays. This whole set of china. This is Japanese china. Very cool with the eight sides on it. And honest to gosh, 1915 post toasties box in practically perfect condition. And then an old. Uh, coffee grinder, an old mixer. That's mid-1800s. One of the oldest mixers I've seen with a crank on it. And then uh, more of the uh, collectible packaging. And then good, just standard good kitchen items you're going to find in the house. Um, plenty here to stock up a kitchen, help somebody get started, replace something that's broken, uh, flatware, hand tools. Got a lot of other nice items over here. Particularly, I like this set of the antique hand tools. So really unusual pieces there. All right, now, a couple more uh, spaces to go. Let's take a quick peek through the master bedroom. We do have a closet with men's and women's clothes. And there's some good luggage and step stools. There's four different Lazy Boy recliners in the house. There's one. There's a, a, more in the other rooms. Um, I started out with the grandfather clock. I didn't talk about it, but there is a grandfather clock in the sale. And that room has the other chairs. We've got uh, nice uh, scarves and linens and those sort of things. You've got um, uh, the vintage electronics over here. Another nice easy chair, table lamp, vanity stool. These are beautiful wood, uh, beautiful burl panels in the middle of this. American of Martinsville, if I'm remembering the right one. And you've got the lingerie chest in the middle. So that's a nice set with matching end table to go with it. Or a nightstand, end table, as you wish. There it is. And then in this bathroom, we've got a lot of, uh, uh, a mix, I would say, of, just sort of uh, common household items, and then gets a little more interesting. Okay, here's like a really old celluloid um, uh, vanity set or nail set. And uh, pretty jars and glasses and decorative um, uh, items. I, I like these a little trio of um, bathometer. Sit and sweat, soak and sleep. You've got three of them. We've got the little dog taking a bath. It's all pretty cute. And again, more neat vanity items. All right, and then a peek into the laundry room here cool we've got just a, a bunch of good household items and 
unadvertised special, you might say. We figured out there was a cabinet behind the door after we got the photos done, so that's available. And then here, where I just around the corner from where I started, this would be the front door where you'll come in. This fabulous, uh, it's probably a bar back or um, a buffet back, something from uh, a larger piece of furniture, but you can certainly just hang on the wall and and do some beautiful decorating with this thing. I love the gingerbread and all the little balls and spheres and, and uh, spindles on that. So that's pretty cool. Now I was just re-mentioning the grandfather clock there. We got a nice old curio here. The two chairs, or the sorry, the sofa and love seat. The TV is very nice television, the Sony, and it's selling with the stand and the VCR. The one on the bottom is the goes with the uh, the cable, but the the VHS there will go with it. So also you got the Lennox birds, the wall decoration. This fabulous lamp, which I it was always in the middle of the room. I kept walking around it. I meant to put it in the online auction, but I didn't. So that's a tagged item. And then uh, here we've got them wrapped to keep them safe. There's a whole bunch of really good antique Coke trays. And a nice mantle clock up here as well. And Lennox and all the milk glass plates. There's tons. Take a look at the milk glass plates. Very cool. And then uh, two more spaces, guys. They, I have a little tool room here. Just a quick survey of that. You'll see lots of little... Uh, hand tools and everything and the cabinets in here will be for sale and then when we get out into the garage it's very interesting so uh, the house was decorated everywhere with these uh, lots of talk uh, the talk cans and so we've consolidated them and photographed them into lots so this is how we're selling them each basket is an online auction lot they have a buy now price if you don't study this stuff or never bought it before you look at my buy now prices and think those guys were taking drugs when they wrote these listings but no we were ebaying the heck out of it looking at sold prices and finding out that out there in the rest of the world people pay a lot of money for tins and bottles uh, particularly talk tins who is believe me i didn't know it was this collectible but 10 20 30 40 dollars a piece was not surprising by the time we were done looking through these bottles and there's not just the talk like here's a men in bull rated talk or a Duvalshi Talk Supreme. You can see photos of each lot like this, but also there's lots full of the tins, vintage tins, uh, vintage food packaging. Here's a very old Quaker Oats, for instance. So um, uh, there's all what's on this table, and there's more lots like this um, elsewhere out here in the garage. And of course, we've got garage goods. So we uncovered today this really nice uh, flexible flyer. You've got several ladders, extension ladder. Uh, there's bed is in the online auction. You got your miracle grow, your gardening tools over there in the corner. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of fishing stuff down here. And of course, big Bali Bob, ba big mouth, bat, <laughs> that thing right there. And the, uh, the moose antlers, of course, from, from people coming from out West, uh, pretty interesting. And then there's lots of uh, fishing rods. There's a lot of neat, tiny stuff. We've started to organize it here in one of the cases. So you'll have watches and jewelry and uh, um, interesting cards and all, all kind of stuff with um, like hair barrettes and things. There's some sterling spoons. We found the, the fillet knives from Finland and all that kind of stuff. And then one more wall back here, guys, and this will help you while I stop through. There's more of the tins, more of the lots of the tins here. Uh, I believe the saw sold. And then uh, just a good bit more on the uh, the yard tools and handy household items, including this metal and one more of the plastic cabinets had one cell, one still available. All right, guys, that's once again, that's Thursday, June 18th through the 20th, 2020. And we'll be out here in Teleco Village. It's about, it takes you about uh, from the Lenore City exit on I-40. It's about 20 minutes to get here um, from the dam itself. It's about 15 and it's well worth the trip. Going to be a great tag sale, great online auction. It's our largest ever online auction, as a matter of fact. So I hope you'll join in and participate. And we look forward to seeing you out here in Teleco Village.